Hey, what's going on? If you're like me, you probably order a lot of stuff online at this point. And for me, it's like PSA shipments, um, stuff I want to flip, retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, I guess. I do a lot of that. And one thing I've come across that if you are a working individual or a busy individual that isn't just sitting around your house all day, it becomes hard to receive packages with FedEx or UPS direct signature if you're not somebody that's around the house. Because if you've ever been, um, you know, a victimized, I guess, by this, which it's a great thing because it like ensures that nobody else is ever going to steal your package. So if you're getting something valuable or something like a PSA order that has a lot of valuable cards in it, they're not going to just leave it on your porch for a porch thief to steal. Even though I did just get a ring camera, I'm pretty excited about that. Can't wait to set it up. That's a story for another day. Can't wait to see what kind of stuff I see on there but um, so what was happening to me anyways is my local FedEx pickup like if they try to deliver the FedEx or UPS package twice um, after the second attempt they'll just hold it at their local spot well unfortunately when you live in central PA your local FedEx spot could be up to 45 minutes away so and this was 45 minutes in the opposite direction of where I was going um, daily so it actually was an extra hour and 15 minutes uh, to my schedule to just go pick one of these up and it always happened on a Friday and you know I want them by the weekend oftentimes to take to card shows so I would have to drive all the way to Hagerstown Maryland from Central PA to pick my packages up uh, and then it occurred to me that there might be another way so I tried to write a note on the door and sign it and they rejected it they left a tag says this is only that only works for indirect signature for direct signature somebody has to be there an adult over 18 years old and that's just not going to ever happen at my house um, if you're like a single person or whatever there's just not usually an 18 year old adult hanging out at my house at certain times a day like all day right um, so that became a problem for me um, i wasn't getting my orders i was driving extra so I went into FedEx Shipping Manager and UPS has the same option and it is incredible. And this video is gonna be very short because there's not much to it, but I'm gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of headache of trying to you know, take off work to do a direct signature or waiting around the house for they, the window they give you is usually like, oh, we'll be there sometime between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And it's like, well, nobody's got that kind of time. So um, what do you do? Well, you go into FedEx Shipping Manager and you can actually reschedule your pickup for a day that you'll be there but that's not the best part because you could reschedule it for the next day and if you're busy every day that doesn't really work for you right and they won't let you reschedule for saturdays so because everybody would reschedule for saturdays right fedex would just be delivering every package on saturday if they did that so they could never do that um, neither could ups so you can't reschedule for saturday so what do you do because most people work monday through friday um, well, what you can do is there's an option on there where you can get this package sent to be held at a local drop-off. And those locations include like Dollar Generals, CVS, Walgreens. Uh, they'll have a location near you that's going to be closer than your local FedEx hub that you can then go pick up and sign for the item at. And those are authorized FedEx dealers or UPS dealers, and they will hold the package for you until you come pick it up. So you just go into the FedEx shipping manager or the UPS shipping manager, and you say, hold my package at a location. And then I was able to pick a location right in my town at the Dollar General. It's only a mile away. It took me five minutes after work, and it saved me a ton of headache. I was able to get my stuff before the card show that I needed them for and I just wanted to let everybody else know about that because I'm sure that if I didn't know about it a lot of other people didn't know about it and it's a really handy trick especially when you're you know somebody that is single or lives alone or you know even if you're married and both of you work you know both of you are away from the house all day um, you don't have a relative in the area that can go stay at your house for seven hours a day and wait for FedEx to come and that's a completely unreasonable thing for them to ask for you to do I think but just have the package sent to Dollar General, FedEx, uh, CVS, Walgreens, wherever, and go pick it up at your earliest convenience after work, wherever you, whatever you're doing, you know, whatever you have to do. Um, this makes it super easy for you. And when I went in, my package was there. They asked for my name. Everything was good to go. And I went on with my life. Um, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it 
was, go ahead and subscribe to the page. I'm always talking about stuff like this. Um, if you hear my dog barking, there must be somebody at the door. I'm sorry. Um, I'm always talking about stuff like this, uh, just different ways to make money outside um, and just giving you different uh, online selling tips and tools. Um, so there's always something valuable out there for you to watch. Um, so go ahead and subscribe to the page on behalf of that. If you liked this video, if it helped you out, if it's going to save you time on FedEx and UPS shipping, go ahead and like the video, share the video, tell a friend, comment what other workarounds that you've come up with. But in the meantime, keep on flipping.